all right, let's take a look at it. And it, it looks really strange to me, but the bottom line is I know that some teachers say, oh, divide. I don't want to divide, by the way. I want to write this as the multiplication problem. And I want to do one multiplication at a time. And let me just do this guy first here. All right, it looks pretty easy to do. What are you going to get there? Well, I'm going to say x, x, and then I'm going to say 2 and 1. Minus 2, whoops, sorry about that, plus 1. Let me just check it. x squared, yeah, you get minus x minus 2. Works good. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this guy right here and see if I can do it. What do you get? x, x, and let's see. I'm going to say 2 and 5, so minus 2, minus 5. All right, does that work? I do get x squared. I get minus 7, x get plus 10. I'm going to take this. I'm going to write it as a multiplication problem. What does that mean? This bottom is coming to the top. I got troubles, though. It's in a weird order. So I'm going to write it in a better order. So I'm going to write it as minus 1 times x squared plus 3x minus 40. I think I'm ready to factor that. So minus 1 times, let's see, x and x. And I'm going to say it looks like 8 and 5 to me. Plus 8 minus 5. Does that work? I do get x squared. I would get 3x. I'd get minus 40. That's done. This top is now going to go to the bottom. What is that going to look like? x and x. And then it looks like 4 and 1 to me. Minus 4 plus 1. Let's just check it. You do get x squared. You get minus 3x. You get minus 4. I like to go through the problem left to right and the top. So I see a factor of x plus 1. That would cancel this, provided x is not minus 1. The next thing I see is the factor of x minus 2 would cancel that factor, again, provided x is not 2. Let's keep moving along. And the next factor I see that could cancel is the x minus 5. Well, the x minus 5 would cancel x minus 5, provided the x is not 5. So what am I left off with? And I'll write this down for you. I'm left off with minus 1 times x plus 8 over x minus 4. I'm going to write it a little bit different because it looks too strange to me. I'm going to write x plus 8. I'm going to put the minus 1 at the bottom. So what's this? Why would you do that? It looks neater to me. But again, your mileage may vary. So x plus 8 on top. Well, if you multiply the bottom by minus 1, you would actually get 4 minus x. I'm going to put a little box in this. I want to look at the key. Who knows? Maybe they wrote a variation of it down, but they didn't. What do they? Well, a little variation. 8 plus x and x plus 8, same thing. Bottom 4 minus x. Thank you.